Hi, this is Patrick Everson for Covers.com, and I'm coming to you from the MGM Grand Sportsbook right here on the Las Vegas Strip. We're upstairs in the Skybox. It's just a great place. And we're going to talk college hoops, which I should remind you, this place is a bucket list place for the first two days of the NCAA tournament. No doubt about it. Happy to be joined by Lamar Mitchell. He is the director of the MGM Grand Sportsbook. Lamar, let's talk a couple of sleepers for the NCAA tournament. There's, it, You're just loaded up with blue bloods. Gonzaga doesn't qualify as a sleeper probably, but they're not one of the blue bloods. Where are they at right now? They're currently at 6-1, and this might be the best opportunity for a non-Blue Blood team to win since UNLV won the national championship in 1990. Right. Uh, Gonzaga's, uh, even though they lost this past weekend, this still is one of their best teams and the best opportunity they're going to have. They should be a number one seed. They should have an easy bracket for the first two rounds, make it to the Sweet 16. And then it gets a little bit more difficult for them, but they right. should be able to advance and put themselves in a position to win the tournament. All right, so not necessarily a sleeper, but certainly not one of the Blue Bloods. More than likely, as is almost always the case, your, your champion's gonna come from one of the Power Five conferences. But there are a couple of teams that aren't among the Blue Bloods, as it were, Duke, Kansas, Carolina, etc. How about a team like, say, Baylor? Baylor, yeah, Baylor, absolutely, because they've been up there earlier in the year. They've mm -hmm. slipped a little bit lately, mm -hmm. but because they play in a Power Five conference, they have the experience, they've gone through the wars mm -hmm. of the tough conference they're in. Mm -hmm. I think they have a shot to make some noise in the tournament. All right, where are their odds running right now? Currently, Baylor's odds are 25 to 1. So you still get a pretty good price on Baylor, and that's a team that's played a couple of good games against Kansas as well, even though they lost both times. How about, let's let's jump over to Virginia, West Virginia. That Both those teams are, are, are possibilities. Well, Coach Bennett has a great team in Virginia. Yes. He's always had a really good defensive team, mm -hmm. and I think now that they might be gelling and coming into their, their wheelhouse where they, they're really going to put on their best efforts coming mm -hmm. towards March uh, for the tournament. Currently, uh, their odds are 25 to 1 also, mm -hmm. and West Virginia, they're at 18 to 1. And that's a squad that you just don't want to mess with because Huggins right. sees you never know what you're going to get with his squads. No doubt. but And they're going to run you end-to-end -end all game long. Absolutely. All right. So a couple of teams from the Power Five conferences that are potential sleepers. And, and Gonzaga, of course, not a blue blood, but way up the board and uh, not necessarily a sleeper, but not one of those power teams either. Thanks again to Lamar for his analysis, as always. For Covers.com from the MGM Grand Sportsbook, I'm Patrick Everson. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a follow on Twitter at Covers.